Hey guys, welcome back. So today we have a Sonata Hybrid. I think it's a 2016. So customer complained, as you can see there, a wiper blade is on, even though our car shuts off. As I can see on my data, because I was trying to duplicate this last time, it came here last time, but I can't duplicate it right now. But so, as we can see on our data, our all our relay are off. As you can see, our switches turning it on. Let me try to start this car. So one way to shut this off is to, I guess, remove the negative cable, and we'll do our checks. As you can see there, our switcher has no problem and it's responding if i'm gonna go high as you can see and our wipers goes high but something weird in this one because it's it's stuck on what do you call that on, uh, i think in a mid-range so right now i'm all off as you can see there our same thing our relay doesn't turn on but if I'm gonna go to intermittent, same thing, low relay, nothing is going on there. But let's say I'm gonna go here. That's on our wiper low switch. Our low relay is turning on. So something is powering this up. Um, as I can see here, auto light power is on too. So I really don't know what's going on in that one. Um, I'm gonna grab a schematic diagram and let's see what's involved on the circuit if something is powering it up because once I turn this off so that's off and our wiper is still working so it's either something is shorting it or our relay is sticking to turn it on but as I can see here and our wiper uh, wiper relay is not on at all so I don't know if something is not like bypassing these signals here on our um, current data from the scan tool and doesn't read anything if something is going in there on the relay itself so I'm gonna go grab our schematic and we'll see so I remove our negative cable here at the trunk that's where our battery located so even though I remove it well that's removed already and our, there's no wiper there in the front but as you can see there it didn't reset at all so if we were dealing with a sticking relay that's not you know releasing on that switching point so I'm just gonna show you with that guys that we have really a problem here so I'm gonna go grab our schematic so guys I have my schematic right now as you can see here there's our wiper control for the relays. I think that's what registering to that um, and our data when we turn it on. There's just a command there. So as you can see right now, I just wanna you know um, divide the system. What's really going on? If we have a ground issue or whatever, maybe we have a problem here on our relay that's sticking. I'm gonna try to remove this fuse here and make sure that we don't have a short power because let's say we have a short power something like this maybe it's just turning it on right but we'll see we're, I'm gonna remove this 30 amp fuse so as you can see there um, the wiper shuts off so my next step will be now it's out so there's nothing right now so after I did that let's stop so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this thing and see if we can access that connector there maybe we can do some more measurements and monitor our data and we can also check visual check of what's going on in here right maybe there's a short here in the wire so so i'm just 
just gonna check this. This volume on the side. So I'm gonna set up my um, my stuff, and we're gonna monitor what's going on in here. Okay, guys. So what we're gonna do is here's our schematic. So as you can see here, this is our relay that's inside of that black box, a small one. So we have ground here, right? This should go in there as you can follow my fan, right? That's grounded here, as you can see here, that's grounded. So this relay control will send a positive voltage, right? It's not a ground control because we have always ground here. So we should expect here a 12 volts right once we want to activate this one right so let's say if we have a short or let's say yeah a short and this one keeps activating 12 volts even though our bcm will say the um our data that's saying that really control on so meaning something is going on on our um supply voltage here which is from the bcm right but let's say if we're gonna get a zero volts here meaning that our bcm is not sending that voltage there and our relay which is here the low relay is going straight here as you can see that there and go back to here it's gonna switch on from power here right that's always on because this is normally open the switch and the relay switch side so it's gonna flow here as you can see that line there going straight here and it's gonna just go bypass that high relay because there's an open and I'm gonna go straight to our motor right so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna monitor our voltage here at pin number three right yeah. if our relay is the switch side is ticking so we will know that if this number three pin number three has 12 volts so if it has a 12 volts and this one has zero volts meaning our bcm is not sending that positive voltage meaning our relay is sticking to close position so i already set up my testing so as you can see there that's our testing there So the relay is integrated in this box, the small box. So what I did here is our green wire there. That's our relay control, which is what we're monitoring here. If it's sending 12 volts, right? And we're monitoring our now, pin number three, which is a green one too. Well, I'm sorry, this is a blue wire, right? And on our pin number three, as you can see there, I just used test light so if our relay is sticking on and there's no voltage coming out from this pin and our test light turns on meaning our relay switch side is sticking on so I'm gonna turn on the wipers again and let's wait until it's acts up again so right now um, we installed back our negative cable to our battery and our car is off as you can see our wiper is on and as you can see here which is our pin number three that going straight to the motor our valve is turning on now as you can see our meter that's supposed to be from the bcm control that supplies voltage is so showing zero volts right so meaning the bcm is not false um, sending voltage there to turn on our wipers so we know our problem now that it's from the relay so let me try to tap this maybe it will unstick since um, it will unstick since we didn't this car shuts off so so as you can see there <laughs> she just shuts off so we know that our relay there is sticking so I'm gonna turn it again turn on the car again let me try to 
So right now, I just use mist, right? So, as you can see there, it's on again. Let me turn off the car. So, that's on. As you can see that, there's still power going straight to our motor. But, if I'm gonna um, tap this relay inside this box here, make sure it sh shuts off, right? So, shuts off, so we know that our relay is sticking there in close position that's why our wiper is turning on so um i'm just at least i proved that out that that's our problem there that's it i think um we solve our intermittent issue because last time it came here i really didn't duplicate it i was playing around with the wipers it didn't happen at all so so we'll see um i hope you enjoy that um I think it's just a quick video on showing on how to test that's uh, I think that's a simple circuit and we know we know that uh, we found our problem and we diagnose it properly so that we just don't um, do replace parts that we didn't duplicate the problems because that's what I told them last night uh, last night last time that I can't really diagnose this problem because it didn't happen to me so since right now that it came back that I think the switch relay side that um, it's bad enough that it's sticking right now so at least we duplicate the problem and diagnose it properly so I hope you enjoyed this video guys and don't forget to subscribe and like if you have any comments suggestions let me know and thank you for watching